One root checks out. The other sneaks in as an extraneous trap. Let's see which one survives. It's the math guy, Steve. Solve for x. Okay, so square root of 2x plus 8 equals x. Okay, so how we solve this one is by first squaring both sides to get rid of that radical. So if I square the left-hand side, we get 2x plus 8. Squaring this right-hand side, that just gives us x squared. Okay, then it's a quadratic, so it gets 0 on one side, factor the other side. So subtracting 2x, subtracting 8, we get 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. And now I'll try and factor the right-hand side. Well, uh, we got a 1 in front. It's three terms, so double bubble x and x. Now, when you notice, the multiply give me negative 8, combine give me negative 2. So, negative 4 and positive 2. I think those work. And so, we get 0 on one side, factor the other side. Set each factor equal to 0. So, we get x minus 4 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. So, here, x would equal 4. Okay. And here, x equals negative 2. And that would be our solutions. However, since it's a radical equation, we have to check, right, to make sure we don't get an extraneous solution. So, by plugging x equals 4 back into the original equation, we get the square root of 2 times 4 plus 8. Is that equal to 4? Well, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. So, the square root of 16, is that equal to 4? Now, let's be careful. Since there's already a radical here, this means that this is the principal square root of that 16. So, positive square root. In other words, positive 4 does equal positive 4. So, that checks out. Plugging in negative 2, we get the square root of 2 times negative 2 plus 8. Is that equal to negative 2? Well, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 8 is 4. So, the square root of 4, is that equal to negative 2? Again, since this square root was already there, this means the principal square root, the positive square root. So, the positive square root of 4 is positive 2, which is not equal to negative 2. I Meaning, negative 2 is not a solution. It's an extraneous solution, okay? Always remember, math is everywhere.